On this video I'm going to show you how to connect a micro switch to a servo so that you can achieve light switching and frog switching such as this. I'll start by jumping straight in and showing you how I've done it. So on the servo that's operating the points I have a micro switch on each side. The micro switch on the left is not wired yet but that I would use for an electrofrog and the micro switch on the right is connected to three resistors switching two lights and the other one is always on. Now I'll have a look at some of the circuit diagrams to see how that's actually achieved. To drive this demonstration I've connected the test board to the Megapoints controller. This is your basic micro switch. It has a sprung lever on top and three connectors at the bottom. When the lever is up, the connector on the left is connected to the connector on the right. When the lever is down, the connector on the left, the common, is connected to the center. Using this basic circuitry, we can switch the polarity of frogs on points or we can use it to drive lighting, as you just saw. Here's a basic diagram of how you would connect a micro switch to an electro frog. The common would be connected to the frog and one wire from each rail would connect to the normally open and normally closed. Connect the frog to the common and connect each rail to the center and the right hand connector and this will give you basic frog switching. And the circuit I just demonstrated uses two LEDs and two resistors in the switching circuit and have a third LED that's always on. So on this circuit you can see I've connected the common to the positive and the switched outputs in the centre and the right each go to an LED through a resistor. The other side of the LED then goes to the negative. Let's go back and have a look at how I've actually wired it up on my test circuit. So on the test circuit I have the common at the bottom and this is also driving an LED that's always on with the resistor and you can see the other two resistors wired to the LEDs. Of the three connectors on the servo cable one is the signal that's the yellow, the center is red positive and the black or brown is negative and servos are driven at 5 volts so I calculated my resistor values for 5 volts and I'm actually taking power from the servo supply. So I'm only using a single cable to drive all of this and do the lighting as well.